this episode. <coughs> it's gonna be the bomb. Forensics case number 18. Disarming explosive devices. In Hollywood, big booms equal big bucks. And for good reason, they're exciting. Mix in the age-old Rates Against the Clock plot device, and you have yourself one of the most tried and true dramatic sequences that entertainment has to offer, the ticking time bomb. How many times have you watched your favorite characters put their lives on the line, hurrying to cut the wire and defuse the bomb before the clock hits zero, thwarting the bad guy's evil plan and living to tell about it? They make it look so easy on the big screen, but how much of it is fiction? Is defusing an explosive device really just a matter of sending in a hero detective to cut the right wire? Well, the reality of this scenario is way more serious than any movie or television show can convey. Explosives are nothing to take lightly. When real lives are on the line, safety is first and foremost, which is why Hollywood's hands-on approach to defusing a bomb is always the very last resort. The slightest touch could trigger a detonation, so actual human interaction with a known live explosive device is pretty rare. In reality, a bomb disposal robot would be used to remotely disarm or safely detonate an explosive device. This keeps everyone involved at a safe distance, which is critical because the device itself isn't the only danger. Depending on the explosive, just the shockwave caused by the blast could be lethal. The ticking time bomb itself is also pretty rare. Gone are the days of rushing to a scene with just seconds to spare before saving the city from the blast. Today, explosives don't have to rely on the hands of a clock to be triggered. They can be done remotely and in a number of ways. Some are victim operated, which are the booby trap kind of triggers, and others are command operated. These are remotely triggered by a device such as a cell phone, radio initiator, or a plunger. And even if there was a countdown trigger, it could be silent and nearly invisible to the naked eye, hidden deep within the electronics of a device. This makes it very difficult and sometimes even impossible to determine how much time is left before detonation. Explosive devices are advanced and complex, making them more complicated to disarm. So as a result, you won't see many race against the clock or cutting the right wire scenarios outside of fiction. Disarming a bomb with one second left on the clock may be a blast on the silver screen, but here in the real world, it's forensics. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this latest program from NFSTC. If you'd like to see more, click on one of these links and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time.